Welcome to the channel and yeah, it's not looking too good for Wealth Mountain. We have a decline in the TVL and it looks like it is on its way out. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like down below and also subscribe to keep up to date with Wealth Mountain and other DeFi projects. And before we get any further, remember nothing in this video is financial advice. Please do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So first off, I'm just gonna go over my earnings. So today I did hit that 30 day staked mark, which is that 3% daily percent earning, which is very juicy as we can see. I started with an initial $50 stake. I compounded $1.88 and my total earnings is 90%, so $42. So soon I'm gonna unstake and collect my earnings. Personally, I don't believe I will be able to hit that 40 day stake. I feel like if you're looking at an exit time, you want to try and reach that next day staked milestone. So then, of course, your rewards will multiply up. But I'm not too sure if I will actually reach the 40 day stake that 10 more days in Wealth Mountain. But I'm pretty happy with my results. Again, putting $50. If I unstake this, I'm getting around 42 plus another 42 from my total earnings. So from a $50 investment, I'm looking to pull out around $84, which is pretty, pretty good. It's like a 30% profit on top of my initial. So I'm very happy with that. But now the elephant in the room, what is happening to Wealth Mountain? If we take a look, I did a video literally two days ago and the TVL was nearly $3.1 million. And now if you take a look, you can see we're down to 2.1 and it is still dropping and dropping. So what is happening? Again, Wealth Mountain Stealth launched July 8th. So pretty much a lot of people who have been in this protocol for a long, long time have been printing that 5% per day. For example, if you invested $5,000 and you'd been in the protocol for, well, it launched in July. So you could have been in here for like 90 days. You would have earned literally a four times return plus you'd still be earning five percent per day on your funds which is ridiculous so for example if you put 5k in you could now pull out 20k plus 200 dollars per day on top of that because if you got to say 100 days you'd be looking at twenty two thousand five hundred dollars so basically what has happened is on the smaller chains where some whales were in early they basically said enough is enough they've collected their total earnings and unstaked their stake. So if we take a look at the separate chains, we can see Avalanche is in process of V2 migration and Polygon is in process as well. This V2 migration basically means the contract balance has hit zero. And well, if we take a look, we can see the Avalanche contract, there's 42 cents and the Polygon contract, if it lets me go on it, there's 22 cents. So those balances have completely drained. And once it hits zero, you still technically can get rewards. However, you're, you won't really be able to press collect or unstake. So that is why I want to be wary about this Binance contract. We can see we're going to go under $2 million probably within the next hour or so. So I feel like personally for me, I'm going to pull out when it gets to around 1.5 million or 1 million TVL or contract value because the lower it goes the faster it's going to drop it's going to be exponential people are going to get scared as it starts dropping so they're going to collect an unstake and then it's going to drop faster in a snowball until the contract does in fact hit zero again i could happily collect now again i hit that 30 day mark that 90 percent. i could collect an unstake however i feel like i'm gonna stay for an extra couple days or two because i'm earning three percent per day with my what $50 investment, I'm on day 30-ish. I'll get a couple few more dollars before I do in fact get out of Wealth Mountain, but I feel like there isn't too long left. So what happens with this V2 migration? If we take a look into the Discord, we can see well Binance went down here. We can see it's important to reiterate that a contract balance going to zero does not constitute to the end of the protocol, just a migration and change in earnings rates. Our TVO change has been around 10% and we're seeing stabilization across the board. The process remains the same for any of the smaller chains. If the contract depletes, users will be migrated to V2. So V2 
basically what will happen is in a proportion of users who still have staked amounts you will be paid out however the profit won't be your one to five percent per day your profit basically will be from what the wealth mountain portfolio generates you will get a percentage of those returns in a sense you're not getting back what you deposited over a long period of time you might however you're basically just going to be getting back pennies but it is still something technically and it is a lot better than other projects in this space where once the contract hits zero they just give up on you you will still be able to earn a little bit however you're not going to be earning at a great rate like you used to and it will take a long long time for you to get that portfolio value back so that is why for the people on the binance phantom and ethereum you want to withdraw before it does in fact hit zero we can actually see a tvl here to portfolio ratio and we can see the tvl peaked at three million one hundred and thirty thousand dollars then it went down to 2.9 and then we can see october 6th it went from 2.9 to 2.4 million dollars so down 500k in one single day and then today 2.3 million dollars it says however we're actually lower we're down to 2.1 so today alone we are already down 200 nearly 300 thousand dollars and again we're probably looking at around a 500 thousand dollar decline every day from today going forward so what should you do if you're in ethereum binance or phantom so we'll open up all the chains we can see ethereum there's hundred and fifty thousand dollars in there if you actually go to ERC20 token transactions, you can see what's happening. So we can have deposits in. So someone put in $1,000, but then we had some withdrawals. 103 out, 700 out. Someone went in for 7.3K, pretty wild. Then we can see going out 300, 400. Someone deposit, uh, withdrew 2.3K, etc. So you can see, basically you can track what's happening with the token transaction. But pretty much if you know what chain you're on, bookmark the address for the contract so here's the ethereum one here's the phantom one here's the binance one and i would check this every few hours personally if i'm on my pc i'll probably check this every hour at least check it like twice a day because it will only take probably half a day to deplete the contract if there's a lot of fear again i'm not fighting it however i'm just being realistic of what is going to happen so on the binance chain we can see the ratio of withdrawals to deposits is pretty mad. We can see withdraw $18, 3.5k, $300, $400, $200, $700, 400 Going in, to be fair, we had a 3k and a $400, but that is it. And you can go, this is all within the last what, 20 or so minutes. We can see all of these withdrawals out from the contract. We'll probably be able to find some pretty big ones in here. So there's a $900, 3k, 3.3k. 1.1k there and i'm sure i could download this and sort by the biggest but again that's a bit more in depth i feel like we don't need to go that crazy but just in comparison the withdrawals compared to deposits like there's a 2k withdrawal there there's a 5k withdrawal and these is again all in the past two and a half hours so you can see there's so many withdrawals compared to deposits it is sort of just ramping up right now there's a 1k another 1k $300, $80, 80, 80. Like there's a few deposits. However, you can see 2K withdrawal there. The contract is going down and it will be going down very, very soon. I reckon, to be honest, it'll probably be tomorrow when I jump out of the protocol. Once it, again, if it hits 1 million and goes below that, it's going to be gone very, very shortly. I will do continuous updates on what is happening. And once Wealth Mountain have gone more in depth with this V2 migration, I will give you details on that. But pretty much, you want to be wary right now. You want to just check the TVL. If you don't want to risk it anymore, collect your stakes. What I would say is, if you're close to hitting a new day staked, again, since I just hit 30 days, I probably should just withdraw. But again, there's not too much in here. I feel like I'll eke out a couple more, maybe like $5. But if you're, say on 50 days plus already again you can eke out a bit more but for me i would not greed from trying to go from 30 days to 40 days if that's not going to happen you again track the contract for yourself see what's happening but 
keep an eye on it and just make sure you can get out before it does in fact hit zero because if it does hit zero you won't be able to withdraw your stake or collect your rewards you will be migrated to v2 but again we don't know too much about the returns there but it of course won't be one percent per day but i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below are you still in wealth mountain were you on one of the chains that depleted Again, if you're on Phantom or Ethereum, I would probably look at getting out very, very soon because there could just be a couple whales who withdraw and those contracts are to zero. Again, Phantom, there's only 5K in there. So all it really takes is, there we can see, 10 hours ago, 2K got withdrawn. All it takes is two more people to do that and the Phantom chain is depleted. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys on my next video.